Okay, so it's fun times with integration and up until this point we haven't been able to really um, properly integrate a function times a function or a function divided by a function. So this video is going to go through the five problems that you see um, and we are using this little situation going on here where we've got, if we've got a function and we can see that it's multiplied by something close to its derivative, right, we can do tricky little manoeuvre and we are able to then integrate a function times a function. So we're going to use this little rule here. Um, let's get stuck straight in. Okay, so let's begin with that first question. So the first thing that we have to do uh, in this case is choose what our function in u is, right? So generally speaking, it's going to be the most complicated one or the th thing with the highest power. So in this case, all right, we're going to separate. That's going to be 2x is going to be one function. Now e to the x squared, we can see that, but here's the tricky bit. We're going to say let u, all right, the function in u, let that be x squared. Now when I differentiate that, we get du by dx equals 2x, and you can see that that is the other function that I have, right, sitting over here. So what I can now do is rewrite this and say that this is technically, we're finding the integral of, instead of e to the x squared, x squared is u, right? That's that bit there. And instead of 2x, 2x is du by dx. And we've got our dx here and we're doing a bit of a thing here. We can not technically cancel, but we're going to cancel, right? And we end up saying, well, we're now integrating e to the u with respect to u. So it's really important now that you use proper notation, okay, because that makes a difference. And now we love uh, exponentials because we know that the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. And don't forget your plus c. And we finish off by just replacing u with the function that it was. So it's e to the x squared plus c. And that's done. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually check, all right? So check over here. If I had y equals e to the x squared plus c and I wanted to differentiate because remember integration differentiation reverses. Remember what is the derivative of e to a function? So it's write that whole thing and then you multiply it by the function that e has got the power to, right? So that would be times 2x and we know that the derivative of a constant is zero. Now look at what your original function was and you can see that's actually correct. Now, do you have to check every time? Gosh, no. Um, but if you know you're in a test, whatever, and you wanted to, well, feel free. Okay. okay. Onward and upward to number two. So once again, we can see it's a function times a function. We cannot simplify or expand or anything like that. So we have to choose. We, we go to um, substitution and we have to choose our u function, our function in u. Okay, now instead of making that whole thing there, our function, it's just going to be the bit underneath the square root. So once again, choose the most complicated, and generally speaking, it's the one with the highest power. So we yet let 3x squared minus 2 be u, because remember, the other function that you have has to be its derivative, or close to its derivative. So if we have a look, we've got du by dx, 9x squared, derivative of minus 2 is just nothing, right? It's a constant. Ah, so we look, we're, well, hmm, we're close. We've got the x squared, but we do not have um, the 9. So guess what? I'm just going to pop it in there. So we'll leave a little bit of a gap here, right? I'm going to pop a 9x squared, well, putting the 9 there. So because I've times that by 9, that's okay. I can even that out by saying I'm timesing it also by one ninth. All right, and I'm gonna do this step by step. The, the more you do these, the quicker you will get, and I guess you could leave out a couple of steps, but remember you do want to make it clear that you know the marker knows what you're doing. All right, so we go, that's one ninth. Now, this whole thing here, all right, that's my function, u, but what are we doing? We're taking it to the square root, so that's u to the half. 
and we're multiplying it by 9x squared, which just happens to be du by dx, and then we've got our dx. So what in effect, in effect I'm actually doing is I'm integrating 1 ninth u to the half with respect to u. Oh, I respect you. Oh, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more space. Hang on. And it's a simple matter now of just integrating as we normally do. So when I've got u to the half, I'm going to add um, 1, so that becomes 3 over 2. And then you divide by 3 over 2, which is in effect the same as timesing by 2 over 3. And let's not forget our plus c. All that's left to do is tidy up and replace u right, with the function that we said it was right at the beginning. All right, so what have we got? We've got 2 over 27, 9 threes are 27. Now u is 3x, so I'm just going to write that as 3 x cubed minus 2 to the 3 over 2 and by all means feel free to check that you're right by differentiating and you should get the the bit at the start look at that woohoo let's try our next one okay, motoring along once again you can see a top line that's not very complicated so the thing that's got the highest power is downstairs and really i'm looking at this higher power rather than the five all right, so we're going to let u equal 4x minus x squared. du by dx is, what do we got? We got 4 minus 2x, okay? Looking at what we have here, it's pretty close. The x take 2 squared, but it's not exact. So what do we have to do to this to make it become 4 minus x squared? Um, and if I times, so let's just play around at the side here, right? If I times that by negative 2, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, x times minus 2 is minus 2x. Okay, so timesing by negative 2, I can do that as long as I also divide by negative 2, which is the same as timesing by minus a half. So that's, oh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I end up with. 1 over 4x minus x squared to the 5 and I'm times, I mean I could have put this 4 take 2x at the top as a numerator but you'll just see why. We get minus a half so I am now integrating 1 over my function is 4x take x squared right that's my u function so it is now u to the 5. Uh, this is my du by dx, then I've got my dx here, so I end up, that all cancels, and I'm integrating that function with respect to u. Do you like it when I keep saying that? I respect you. Um, so I'm now integrating u to the minus 5. So we add a power, divide by that, and don't forget, we've got our plus c. Right, we've got two negatives there, they're going to cancel out, so I end up with um, 1 over, I'm going to pop 8 because I'm putting it downstairs, my u function, which is 4x minus x squared to the 4. That looks a bit funky, so we'll rewrite that, make it a little bit even, plus c. All right, if you wanted to put um, your 4x take x squared to the minus 4, stick it upstairs times by 1 eighth or divide by 8, all the same, all right? Don't have to write it exactly like I have it. Okay, ready for the next one. Bring it on. Okay, should be pretty sus with this by now. Again, looking for the thing with the highest power. So no surprises for guessing that it is, or knowing, not guessing, is 1 minus 2x squared. We differentiate minus 4x. So once again, we haven't got minus 4x uh, up the top. So I'm going to make it become minus 4x. So I'm going to just times that by minus 4, and I can do that as long as I divide by minus 4 or times by negative 1 quarter. Okay, so timesing by 1 over e to the 1 take 2x squared by dx. So what we're actually doing is integrating minus a quarter 
1 over e to the u with respect to u, right? Please can't say often enough, don't leave off uh, your notation. So how do we integrate this one? Where you know, I'm, it's a long day, so I will put that up to the, the top there that we're integrating. So it becomes minus 1 over 4, okay, uh, times, maybe I should have put something else there, but it's going to be 1 over minus 1 e to the minus u plus c. So we've got 1 quarter. Replace u with 1 minus 2x squared plus c, we're done. That's it. Just be careful because I've actually stuffed that up a little bit there. But remember, this is to the minus um, u. So really, we would write that as that's 1 quarter e 2x squared take 1 plus c. So remember the minuses, you've got to be really careful with that sort of stuff because the minus can make a massive difference. So again, feel free to check that by differentiating if you wish to. And last but not least, you can't do any sort of calculus or integration without trigonometry. I mean, really, it's not just the, it's just not the same. So again, what's the thing with the highest power? It is sine 4. And even if it didn't have the... A, power of 4 or whatever, it's downstairs, so I'd let that one be your, your u. So let u equal sine x, du by dx, we're concentrating, making sure that we um, differentiate and not integrate, so have your rules handy uh, and don't stuff that up. I have been known to do just that. Okay, so that's going to be derivative is cos x. So now when we're writing this, I'm not really sure why that's changing colour, but we'll just go with it. So we get the integral of um, cos x hmm, times 1 over sine to the 4x by dx. And that is the same as the, in oops, the integral of... Now, cos x is du by dx, so we've got 1 over u to the 4, du by dx by dx, so we're integrating that with respect, once again, with respect to u. So integrating u to the minus 4, which becomes u to the minus 5, divided by minus 5 plus c, and all that's left for you to do is replace the u with um, sine x. So I'm going to pop that all downstairs. So I'm going to end up with minus 1 all over. The 5 stays downstairs. And instead of u to the minus 5, it's downstairs u to the 5, which is sine 5, sine to the 5x. And that's it for substitution. Okay. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a good inroad and you just practice, practice, practice uh, to get that under control.